Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Varun and I'm currently pursuing M.Tech from IIT Bombay, the Department of Electrical Engineering. This video is about MS by Research in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence offered by Center of Machine Intelligence and Data Science at IIT Bombay. I will be sharing all the details about the program like eligibility requirements, admission process, tips to clear test and interview, etc. So let's get started with a short intro to Center of Machine Intelligence and Data Science at IIT Bombay. Center for Machine Intelligence and Data Science is a newly established department at IIT Bombay with a aim to develop talent in the field of data science and AI through research and teaching. It is an interdisciplinary department which focuses on theoretical and application oriented research in data science and AI. Since it is an interdisciplinary department, it has faculties from different departments of IIT Bombay with varied areas of research. Some of the research areas of the department include computer vision, speech processing, applications of AI in biological and chemical sciences, agent-based learning, etc. Currently, the department offers two programs. The first one is MS by Research and second one is the PhD program. This video covers all the details about MS by Research program. The program includes fundamental as well as application specific courses in many disciplines like finance, language and speech, health and biology, etc. A student is free to choose any course as per their interest. I would like to mention that MS by Research is different from MTech RA, which is also offered at IIT Bombay. MS by Research is suited for students who want to pursue PhD or a R&D oriented career in industry. MS by Research is a flexible program and its duration can vary from 1.5 to 3 years, whereas MTech RA has a fixed duration of 3 years. Now let's talk about the admission process for the program. Since this is an interdisciplinary program, students with a bachelor's degree in all engineering disciplines with a valid GATE score are eligible to apply. The program admits 20 students under the TA category. The admissions to the program are based on a written test followed by an interview. GATE score cutoff for getting shortlisted for the test was around 650 for the general category. The test was online conducted on Code Tantra. It had objective type questions with a duration of 2 hours. The syllabus for the test includes calculus, probability, linear algebra, algorithms and basic machine learning. They have given a detailed list of topics and resources which I will link in the description. I will also link some resources which I have found helpful in the description. The test was a shortlisting round for the interviews. They shortlisted the top 90 candidates based on the test scores for the interviews. Let me end this video with some final points which will help you in the test and interview process. Since students of all disciplines are eligible to apply for the program, there will be many applicants and the intake is of 20 students. So to get selected for the program, you need to perform well in the test and the interviews. I would suggest you to go through all the resources which they have mentioned on their website and also the resources which are linked in the description below. In the interview, they might ask you your preferred area of interest for pursuing research. Before you give admissions interview, go through the department website and faculty research profiles. It would be better if you know the basics about any one of the applications area like computer vision or natural language processing. This would add more weightage to your profile. Lastly, I would like to mention that the tips which are being shared in this video and also the resources are pretty much common for any AI or data science program. So preparing for test and interview of this program will also help you to prepare for the admission process of other similar programs. That is the end of the video. If you have any further questions, then please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.